So I'm going to get started. I'm just wondering about when you make a great TV series like Hannah and you have that first series that I'm sure you had a great time shooting and one you're very proud of. Is it quite nerve wracking, that kind of wait to see if it's if a second season has been green lit? And how happy were you when, when you found out you get to get your teeth stuck back into this role again? It, it always is a little nervous making. You know, you put so much into that first season and, and you want it to be well received and then it is well received, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee a second season. And I know when David sat down with me to talk about doing the show, he told me rough storyline for two seasons. So I, I knew his intention was at least, you know, to hopefully get through a second season. And, um, we were so lucky to find out. I was doing the press tour for season one in New York City and David had flown in and he shared the news with me that, um, you know, to be kept a secret, that season two had been greenlit. And, um, and that was very exciting. That must've been quite a hard secret to keep though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. Um, but was the, was the atmosphere different on, on the set when you know that the audience has really responded to something? Is there almost like a, a slightly different sort of swagger about the cast and crew when, when, they're, when you're creating something that you know has been so well received? Not for me. If anything, it makes me want to be more vigilant because second seasons are tricky. You know, you, you create a world and then you need to like sustain the things that are good, but you also have to kind of crack the world open. And, and, and it's, um, it's not always easy to do well. So I, I think uh, second seasons, I, I always want to stay kind of more on point. Did you miss Joel though? It must have been nice yes. having yeah, that familiar yeah, face. Of in the course series. I miss Joel, yes. He's one of my good friends. Yeah. Um, so tell me about your character's development. Like what can fans expect of, of her journey and what what's slightly what might be different about her coming into the second se season? In season one, I think we see glimmers of Marissa's attempt at normalcy, her desire for like home and partner and and it obviously being who she is it's unsustainable and I think that that impulse in her is what carries her to make the decision to to protect Hannah it's like the last opportunity to do something good and to and to you know salvage a life and and so we want so we see her grappling with that all the way through season two because I spoke to an actress this week called uh, Kelly O'Sullivan for a film called St. Francis. And she's playing a very flawed female character in that. And she was talking about how she feels women are so often expected to be likable on screen. There's still this kind of thing in in, in, in the art, in, in sort of cinema and TV, where uh, it, women characters have to be likable. But obviously you're playing a very flawed, very nuanced character here who isn't likable. But is this still a rarity? Do you still not see many characters like this? I think I've just been very, very lucky. I mean, Sarah Linden was wildly unlikable um, and I felt no responsibility to make her likable. Um, I think more often than not, women characters are asked to be likable, but I think that's that's true about male characters as well. You know, you don't see a lot of leading men with like terrible flaws in films, you know. Um, I appreciate that we are allowing Marissa to um, be deeply, deeply broken and flawed and to still call her our, I mean, in this season two, she, she's kind of an anti-hero. But I mean, obviously, I mean, a bit despite being a sort of anti-hero, there are still villainous streaks to this role. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I know it's a bit of a, a bit of a cliche, but actors do genuinely say that playing villains and playing villainous roles does it can just be quite fun. Have you found that to be the case with with her? Yes, yes, it is quite fun. I think maybe because of what we were speaking to before is that it gives you permission to not be likable. And can it be cathartic though, in the sense that I guess you get to explore kind of sides to our psyche and sides to our our demeanors that. I guess it's within all of us, but we kind of repress them and when we kind of don't entertain them. But I guess you're being paid to kind of tap into the kind of darker <laughs> sides to our minds, I suppose. Yeah, and it's also really satisfying to be able to carry through with whatever impulse you have. Like she has these 
you know, really awful, terrible impulses, which are actually totally appropriate for her to carry out and do. She doesn't have to check herself. And, and, but do you find that when you play a character, do you have to personally like them in order to portray yeah. them? Uh, you have to like some aspect of them. There needs to be something about them that you appreciate, but you don't you don't have to like all parts of them. No, I mean, do we as people like everything about ourselves? No. Yeah. And obviously you, you, you remember when you were doing the press tour, you said for the season one, David told you there was gonna be a season two. Well, you're doing the press tour now for season yeah. two. <laughs> yeah. uh, do, uh, I'm not gonna ask if, if, uh, if there's been talks about it, but is it something you'd like to do? If, if the opportunity I would love grows? to, I would love to. You know, this strange new world we're in, um, I think has, has, I don't know if it's thrown a monkey wrench, but it's at least like slowed down the pace a little bit. So we can just keep our fingers crossed that we'll, um, we'll get to make a third season. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. And hopefully by the time the third season does air, if it does air, I'll be, we can do this. We can do this. That would be in great. Person. They in person. Yeah. That'll be great. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.